Yeah, Jen and Josh, the board met here this morning for several hours. A statement was released earlier this afternoon, and Market Basket employees say it wasn't the answer they were looking for. While Market Basket employees rallied in Tewksbury Friday morning to fight for their former CEO, the board of directors met in Boston. Despite a week of protests by employees, members of the board say they're standing behind their new CEOs for now. After their meeting, they said they're considering former CEO Arthur T. DeMoulis' offer to retake control of the company. At the same time, board members criticized the recent actions of Market Basket employees. They say, in part, it's now clear that it's in the interests of all members of the Market Basket community for normal business hours to resume immediately. It's the only way to fix it is to bring him back, and as soon as he comes back, this would all be over. We'll start the stores back again, take care of our customers, and go on like never th nothing ever happened. William Caraballo has worked for Market Basket for 25 years. He and another employee from Chelsea skipped Friday's rally and went to Boston to speak with board members before their meeting. That's what we wanted. We just wanted a presence. Yeah. Eleanor Corcoran, a customer from Somerville, joined forces with Caraballo. She tried to hand off these petitions to the board. They contain the signatures of 100,000 people who say they won't shop at the store anymore. But she says many board members ignored her, including Arthur S. DeMoulis. Arthur S. didn't really even want to make eye contact with me. Um, I explained to him I'm a customer. Um, I'm here on behalf of customers. I, I'm here representing the customers, the people who um, shop at Market Basket, and he, he just walked away. Yeah, employees and customers we spoke to today, to today say they're discouraged by the board's statement. And despite what directors want, they're prepared to fight for their former CEO as long as they have to. We're live in Boston tonight. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9. Fighting for just that, the reinstatement of Arthur T. DeMoulis was this massive group of Market Basket employees, all of them sending one message, bring our CEO back. Stephanie Woods continues our team coverage with reaction to today's statement from the board of directors. That message is absolutely clear here at the Manchester Market Basket. You see these employees behind me. They're not losing any steam. They're still protesting and they want their former CEO, Arthur T. DeMoulis, back. A lot of these employees were in the Tewksbury, at the Tewksbury rally at 6 a.m. this morning. So they've been out for more than 12 hours. Now, we got message that, or we got word from the board of directors that they are not going to rehire Arthur T., although they do seem to be considering his bid. That did dismay these protesters. The board also wants market basket, basket, market basket employees to call off the protest and return to work. In a statement, they said, quote, the negative behavior of certain current and former associates is at variance with the company's culture of putting the needs of market basket customers first. But protesters aren't backing down. I love this company. It's like family, and we're not going to stop till we win. I, yeah, I won't be back here if I can't find, you know, what I need. Now, you heard from one of the shoppers. Customers aren't being quite as patient. A lot of them that we spoke to inside say that they can't really wait out an indefinite protest, and they're going to have to go to other stores in the meantime to get their fresh produce. Live in Manchester, Stephanie Woods, WMUR News 9.